guys, I'm back for another first impression review and today I'm reviewing the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. I bought this at Sephora for $49 and this is the second edition of the chocolate bars. And yes, it is made with 100% real cocoa powder. I just read that. Isn't that crazy? Of course, it smells like chocolate, uh, but please do not eat it. I highly doubt it's edible. It's probably nasty. Packaging is so adorable. It is a tin can magnetic closing, and it has a nice full-size mirror and 16 beautiful colors. So I'm just gonna play around. Don't really know what I'm gonna put on my eyes, but I know I wanna put the browns, the neutrals. I'm gonna stick with neutrals today because I'm comfortable in neutrals. So first color I'm gonna pick up is, let's do frosting. So I haven't tried the first chocolate bar. Some people say that it's more pigmented than this one, but I have nothing to compare it to. So let's just try this out. Oh my gosh, it's very powdery. I just dipped my brush in there several times. Well, that seems pretty pigmented to me. And I already primed my eyes. I just used the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. But next, I'm going in with peanut butter and I'm just gonna put this just to my crease. I'm gonna take cocoa cream at the very top. A little more of the peanut butter mixed with mousse. And I'm just putting this right at my crease and pulling it upwards. I like this bonbon color. It reminds me of a strawberry champagne. And I'm gonna place this in the inner corner or the inner half. Now I want a deep color, but I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm gonna take hot fudge here in the corner. I'm gonna mix truffled with peanut butter and apply this in my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a little bit of that hot fudge and then apply that on the lower lash line as well. You know what, before I do that, I should put some eyeliner on my eyes. Here I'm using Lucky Penny by Mally Beauty. It's a bronzy copper shade. And now I'm gonna add the hot fudge. Our eyeliner, L'Oreal 24 Hour Super Slim. I'm going with some Stardell lashes that I got online years ago. <laughs> And in case you're wondering, the foundation I'm wearing is Yves Saint Laurent. This is in shade Honey B50. Uh, brows, you know, I'm just using the Wet n Wild. You can get this at the drugstore for like four bucks. And lastly, on my lips, I'm wearing Max Spice Lip Liner. This is my IT lip liner right now. Along with the Maybelline, this is their matte color in Daringly Nude 655. And then I contoured and highlight with the Anastasia of Beverly Hills kit. I am loving the shades so far. And I think the color payoff is awesome. Now it is 1.30 in the afternoon. I'll check back at the end of the night. It is just about 9.45 in the evening. From the looks of it, the shadows stayed on really well. I still have no idea what people are talking about saying it's not as pigmented. Maybe certain colors. So I thought I would swatch just a few for you guys. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand to use as a base. Blueberry swirl. This is a pretty blue. Hmm. Of this color, it seems like you really gotta pack it on to get this payoff. Okay, let's one. do Rum Raisin. This one's a taupe. Oh my gosh, I could just tell from touching it that this is, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It's so soft and buttery. I really like that one. That one goes on so smooth. Let's see Pink Sugar. Now this one I could tell lacks pigmentation. Yeah, 
You can barely see it on my hand. Can you see that? I think this is more of a color that you would put on top of another eyeshadow. Nougat. I think this one would be a good all over base color. Oh yeah. This one is buttery too. You can barely see it on my hand. When you have a smooth base like that, it would be really easy to blend shadows, especially if you're using all mattes. I didn't even try butter pecan. In fact, let me do butter pecan as a highlighter. There it is. That's pretty, can you see that? And let's test out the black. Oh my goodness, this is so buttery. Now that is a matte black. Okay, overall, I really do like this palette. I'm excited to try more of the matte colors. I'd have to say my least favorite shade in the palette is Pink Sugar. It definitely wouldn't look like this semi-sweet like they show in the picture. <laughs> Again, it is $49. I bought this one at Sephora. Please thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Also, don't forget to check out my daily vlogs on It's Judy's Life and my mommy channel, It's Mommy's Life. I will catch you guys later. Bye!